Well, you mentioned the burn process, which is language that I use generally, uh, you know, generally as, as liberally as I can to help people understand that there's a certain process that is active here or can be active depending on the person. You know, uh, we, we have to self-burn. We have to let go of stuff. It means um, dissolve it. See, like, um, obstructions that we have, emotional obstructions, memory patterns and stuff. We need to dissolve them and they just use us to death. See, they keep recurring. See, we have to upset the, uh, the recycling of these things or the rehashing of this stuff. See, to say, oh yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm caught up in a pattern, a, a painful pattern of memory. You have to stop and say, no, no, I'm not. I'm not going to give it that kind of power. I want peace, boom, then you bring peace into the reality, right? into your present condition. Or you want to be representing peace. So you snap out of it. We're talking about the, the power of the snapping out from neuroses into clarity. It's very important. It's good practice. It's kind of a mental discipline. So, <clears throat> Otherwise, you're just going with your emotions and everybody else's emotions, and you wind up somewhere else. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, if we're talking about good feeling, good feeling is good for a while. You, you can groove on that. Mm -hmm. You have to get back to your, your, your center, which may not be somebody else's good feeling. You know, there might be a manipulation or a deception beyond the point. See? So you can't trust it. another person's good feeling, except you can share it up to a point and say, you know, yeah, I'm coming back to clear now. I need to be clear. See, so I know what I have to do. And I'll be swayed by the feeling or the mood, which may not have anything to do with you, actually, when you stop to think about it. See. You, may, you may have a need for clarity rather than being swept away by other people's stuff, right? Ideas, emotions, ambitions, desires, and so on and so forth. Come in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So would that be, I mean, there's a, maybe a centeredness? between, you know, feeling good, feeling bad, and then just yeah, that's paradox. A, right. If we're talking about Zen practice, mm -hmm. which I think is a good, a good point, mm -hmm. uh, then it's not about any, any, uh, any mood, anything. Because mm -hmm. underneath, the, the, or, or as basis for the Zen practice, we have uh, other schools of thought that use the word soul, higher soul, say, paramatma, super soul. I like to use the word super soul. Well, it's not for or against anything, it just is, boom, is clear. Right? Clear radiance, super soul. Mm. Mm. It's higher practice for some, or well, beginner's practice for others. It's a good thing to start from, a good point to start from. See? Mm. Then we're projecting our potential instead of being victimized by, uh, let's say, um, lack of understanding of others, a lack of, let's say, uh, association or attention to the path of others around us who aren't ready for the path, see, of purification and balancing, see. It's not even a concept for them worth considering, see. see they're too caught up in other drives and uh, desires and ambitions and self-serving things that are necessary for them to get to a point of accomplishment uh, that thereafter they can say, well, I think I'm going to cut back on certain things that I had to, had to do, say, feel, be, in order to get to the, their accomplishment, whatever that might be, in the world. 